All right, so now we're doing this. Uh, writing a Java class named array list sort that has two static methods, selection sort and bubble sort, that takes an array list of string as an argument. Now this array list sort is the name that I want for the class. I already created the project, so well, I'm going just to rename this class to be the name that was requested. So array list sort, and I don't need, it says there's an error because there's a space afterwards. So after removing the space, there is no more, pro no, no more problems. There are no more problems. Then, okay, once I have this, I just would like to add two static methods, selection sort and bubble sort. Let's start with which one you'd like to start with. Selection sort or bubble sort? Selection sort, you like selection sort, okay. So let's start with that. I'm just going to leave the main as it is and add the it doesn't does not say that they have to be private. They just say it has to be static. So you can make them private or public. It's up to you. I'm going to make them static, void selection sort, and then it needs an array list of strings as an argument as my list. So now I have a problem. I need to import the Java .ut .array list. And now I'm ready to put the code. Now, if I have an array list and I would like to sort them using the selection sort, the selection sort is going just to find the maximum, put it in the back, find the second max, put it in the one before the back, and so on. What should I do? I'm listening. You wanted the selection sort. So own it. What's the first thing that I should do now? Compare what with what? I need a for loop. Okay, for loop for what? So I can find the maximum. Remember, selection sort, it's finding the maximum in the array, then put that maximum in the last position. So I just do that. I'm going to have a for loop that is going to start from 0 to list.size. I don't know how many values there are going to be in the, in the list, so I'm just going to re rely on the list.size. And then, I need to declare a vari variable to be the max, right? So now, am I looking at the maximum as the value of the maximum? Or the position of the maximum? Position. What do I need? Position. The position? Why do I need the position? Because I need to put the uh, maximum in the last part of the array. So that's what I need to do. Then I need to basically need an int max because this int max now is the position of the max, but the value max should be string. So I'm not going to remember the string. I just would like to remember the position of the max and then so I can swap it and put it in the back. So I'm going to remember the position and the position is going to be zero because I'm assuming that the first element of the list is my maximum. Then I'm going to compare that with the rest and if I find a better one I'm going to okay that's the better one. But should I start by comparing the max with the first element here? It should start with one. So because the first thing that I'm going to do is compare is the list get max is the maximum smaller than the list get i. But I have a problem. I cannot use this with strings because this is a string this is another string now I can use the, I cannot use less than but no I don't want to, to I'm not asking if they're equal or that you know which one is so I need to use compare to exactly so this is a string so this string I can use dot compare to and compare to the other string is this whole thing now when I'm comparing these two what I need to do is check if it's less than zero. 
That's how I ask, is this smaller than this? That's what this compare to does. But I need to use, you see, a very long list, dot get max, dot compare to, and then you open, so it's a very long expression. But don't get confused. I hope you're not. Because this is just give you the value of the max, this is the value of the i, and then I'm just comparing them with this smaller than this. And if it's true, what should I do? I found a value that is bigger than the max because I said compared the max is smaller than the i that means now i should be the max and that's what I'm doing and after I finish this I have found the position of the maximum and what I should do put it in the back how can I put it in the back I need to declare a temporary variable so I don't miss some or misplace some data some this is my temp and what am I going to put in temp list dot get get what the max well yeah I can get the max okay but then I need to list dot now I need to change the max with some value so set I'm going to this is how I can change the value of max this is the position that I would like to change and what is the value that I'm going to put in it so how can I know the last position list dot array list minus one Array list minus one. Array list is a class. How can you have a class minus a number? Well, list get size. Get size. This uh, it's just size, not get size. So size minus one. Well, this is a number. This is an int. Now what I what I'm saying? Put this int in the position of the max. No. I would like to have this is the position of the last number I'd like to have the value of the last element of the list so this is an index this index I'm going to use give me the value that is going to be at the last element of the li of the list and this value is going to be the new value that you're going to put into the max okay, it's a very long expression again I'm going to break it into smaller parts. Now the smaller parts is I'm going to have int last position. Now the last position we agree that this is the last position. Right? Oh, there's an extra uh, parenthesis. And uh, I need to find something here. I'm going to deal with it. Now this is my last position. Now, what is the value that is going to be in the last position? The value that was in last. So it's just list dot get and then last position. Right? Now, this value is what I need to put here. This gives me the position of the last element. This gives me the value of the last element. So now I have this as the last position. Once I have the last position, I get the last position. So it gives me a string, which is the value in the last position. And once I have the value in the last position, I swap it with the with the max. So now what I did, I took the mask, the max, the value of the max, I put it in temp. I put the value that was in the last position, I put it in the place of where the max was. Now the last thing that I will have to do is whatever is the last position, I need to put inside of it 
temp. And that's sweet and nice and confusing and gets your eyes and attention up, which is it's going to be fine. Let's just take an example. This is our list. Oh no, let's take a list of texts. A and then B and then C. Okay? Or just because I want it to be like the maximum. How do I know a maximum between these? Which one is greater? A. No, A is smaller. A is smaller than B, smaller than C, smaller than etc., Z, and so on. So, the maximum is C already. So, I don't want to have that. But I'm going to put, I'm going to have the first element to be Z, which I know Z is the biggest. So Z should be the back, okay? Now this is my list. My list has Z, A, okay, C and B, just to have some kind of fun. Now, this is my maximum. What should happen is that this should be put inside of temp. So temp is going to be Z. And then the position here is the mag the last one. I need to put it to swap it with the here, which means this last value, last position, I need to put inside of the last position the temp. No, that's not how it works. Let me just do it better. This is our list. Uh, let's have C and then B. First of all, let's take a step to find which one is the max. Now, according to this, we say that the max is here. Now, this is 0. Indices 1, 2, and three because we assume that we entered those elements in that order now this is what we have in the list the position zero is going to be z the position one is going to be a now this loop here let me just go back to black this loop here is going to ask is i which is one less than list size what is the size one two three Four. So list size is going to be four in this case. And I'm asking, is one less than four? Because the first element I initialize it with one. So far so good? Yes. Well, uh, yes, and then I lost some there on the right. Some in the back, maybe. So, yeah. Are you okay? Do you want to take a break or something? You still following? I said this is a size of 4. And this is array list dot size. So this becomes like this. Now i is 1. That means the first question I'm asking is 1 less than 4. The answer is yes. Now this is comparing what? The value of max. What is max? I'm assuming that max is here at this time because I said max is zero. So let me put max maybe in blue. This is I'm saying that this is where max is. And then I'm comparing this with the list get i. Get i means I compare this. So I'm comparing z and a. Is z smaller than a? No. So I'm not going to do anything here. So this will stay my max. I'm going to make z smaller than c? No. z smaller than b? No. So I already found the max. I'm happy. This is my max. Now what should happen is that now I should swap the max with the temp. Uh, sorry, swap the max. So these two positions should be swapped. This is my last position. This is my last position. This last position is 3, right? Which is, give me the size, minus 1, 
that's my last position this one here and the value of the last position is the B so this is the B that I'd like to swap with the Z now what happens here is that I'm getting the value of the max and put it into the temp what is the value so this is my temp what am I putting in the value of the the max Z sorry the value of the the list of get max is going to give me Z and I'm putting it inside of temp now the next step is after I put this here I'm going to take this value the B and put it in this position right so the B I'm going to take it and put it into this position now B I saved it here because it's the value of the last position so this is my B and now what I'm saying list set set what it does set it changes the value at a specific position so I'm telling it change the value at position max or in this case to be this value now what is going to happen is that this is going to change this position max max is zero so it's going to change this instead of being Z it will be B this is what this line is doing and then this one says change the last position and put whatever it's in temp in it so what's in inside temp that's Z what's the last position that's the last position so it's going to change this and put Z in it and that did the swap is that okay so this one just saves this into the temp this one just to make things easy so we don't see two weird things actually you know what I can just take this and put it here it's basically the same thing so this gives me I don't need this one but I still need to use this last position at this place and this is the value of this last position this value I'm just going to instead of using it here I'm just doing it this way so you can see that I'm putting max into the temp I'm changing the position of temp with the value of the last element and then the last element is going to be changed with temp which one you prefer this one or the other one the longer one longer one this one so every each one of you use the one that you find the easiest for you now if you use this one it makes sense to you fine keep this one if this one is maybe too complicated the other one is better fine just use the one that is okay with you yes this one well this set uh, list.set what it does it just changes a value in a specific place that's what it does now here I tell them change the value at the position max with this new value so here this value I'm going to put it in the position of the max at this place so B this is my value in last position I'm going to put it into the position of max at position zero and this does exactly the same thing but the other way around change the value at the last with something that is in uh, this variable temp so this set is always going to change the value at a specific place in the array you mentioned the index the position that you would like to change and the value that you'd like to put in it that's how this set works yes which one here yes. now this is the value uh, whatever you just get you get the value that's why this is string you want to just, uh, index. Uh, it's already max max is the index and the value of the max is this this is the last in position yes 
the last position that I would like to put things in. Okay, we need to put this in a loop because we need to repeat this until we reach the end of the elements, right? So how can we do that? Do you see the loop? Now next thing that this should increase, instead of minus 1 it should be minus 2. So that's very easy to do. And the other thing is, instead of this being list size, it should be list size minus 1. Because now the next step is that we need to find the maximum in this array. So we need to repeat the same thing, except that we don't want to go up to less than this size, we'd like to have list size minus 1, because we don't want to check this one too as, a, as well. And then the next thing is that once we find the max in this new sub-array, we would like to, the last position, uh, we don't want it to be here. We want it to be one before here, so it's going to be here. So this should be minus something. So I'm just going to make this minus some kind of variable that I'm going to call j, and this minus a variable that is going to be j, and this variable should be 0 the first time. And I'm going to just surround this with the 4. Can I find the 4? Yeah, let's see. But this is going to be my j. The first time is going to be 0. And the last time is going to be size, I think even minus 1. But I can just give it a size. So. So this whole thing is going to repeat the first time j is 0, which means this is 0, I'm not changing anything, and this is 0. But the next time it will become 1, and then this becomes minus 1, minus 1, and then it becomes 2, minus 2, minus 2, and so on. And now I can have something that is going to repeat the whole process until it reaches the end of the array. Yes. No, because every time we would like the max to be back to 0. If we don't do that, the max is going to change because we'll find the max in a place in the array. But then if the max now is 5, for example, and you keep it as 5 the next time, you're going to always assume that the max is 5. So we don't want that. We always would like to assume that the first one is, is, is the max. So that's why it's very important that this goes back to 0. You can declare it outside, no problems. And then uh, inside here, you always have to initialize with 0 inside. Is that OK? So now that you know this, I'm going to hide it. And I'll allow you to find it yourself.